William Lothar Jackson, J.R., was born on February 3, 1825 in Clarksburg, Virginia, now West Virginia. Studying law he was admitted to the Bar of Virginia in 1847. He married Sarah Elizabeth Creel on December 19, 1849, and together they had two or three children. Jackson was a big man, standing about six feet tall and weighing about 200 pounds. He had a shock of dark red hair and piercing blue eyes like those of his famous cousin, Thomas J. Jackson. William Jackson was not known as an eloquent speaker, but he was known as a forceful one. He later became the Commonwealth's attorney for Harrison County. Entering politics he was elected into the Virginia House of Delegates two times, also serving as second auditor of the state and as superintendent of the state library fund. Jackson was the third lieutenant governor of Virginia. When the Civil War erupted Jackson, a proponent of slavery, resigned from his position as judge and enlisted in the Confederate States Army as a private. Recommended to General Robert E. Lee he quickly was promoted to lieutenant colonel of the 31st Virginia Infantry Regiment. Assigned to the command of General Robert S. Garnett he participated in the Western Virginia Campaign and the battles of Rich Mountain and Cheat Mountain. In July 1861, he was promoted to rank of colonel. In early 1862, he became a volunteer aide-de-camp to his cousin, Major General Thomas J. Jackson and participated in his campaigns during the year. In February 1863 William Jackson was authorized to organize a mounted regiment for service behind the enemy lines and he raised the 19th Virginia Cavalry. His regiment immediately joined the Jones and Bowdoin raid, first under command of Albert G. Jenkins, then under John D. Imboden. Jackson stayed in western Virginia, being assigned to command a cavalry brigade, fighting in the battles of Bulltown and Cloyd's Mountain. In 1864, he joined Lt. Gen. Jubal early in the Valley Campaigns from May to October. He received his promotion to Brigadier General on December 19, 1864. On April 15, 1865, six days after Gen. Lee surrendered the Army of Northern Virginia at Appomattox Courthouse, he disbanded his brigade. Refusing to surrender he headed westwards, finally getting a parole in Brownsville, Texas, on July 26, 1865. Temporarily immigrating to Mexico he returned to what was now Western Virginia just to learn that former Confederate officers were barred from practicing law in the state. He then moved to Louisville, Kentucky where he was allowed to resume his practice of law. Jackson became a circuit judge again and kept this position for his remaining life. He died on March 26, 1890 of Bright's disease in Louisville, and was interred there on Cave Hill Cemetery.